It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got two teams who were AFC rivals for almost 25 years. It's the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the beautiful city of Seattle. We welcome you into our moving field, the home of the Seahawks. Good to have with us, Mike Tirico, and Mike Winston with you. The entire fantasy football doesn't take into account the guys close to the football, the guys the line of scrimmage. This is one where our eyes are going to be focused on that battle in the trenches all game long. Mike, it doesn't matter if it's peewee football, middle school football, or NFL football. You can only do offensively what your offensive line allows you to do. And I think that's exactly the case for both of these teams here today. They are going to win or lose based on the ability of gaining an advantage in the offensive and defensive line. So I think we're going to see downhill run game. I think we're going to see play action pass. And the team that's able to impose their will up front along the trenches I think that's going to be the team that finds himself at the end of this one coming out with the win. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Broncos led by the rookie quarterback Bo Nix out of Oregon. The rookie, the last of the quarterbacks taken in the first round, number 12 overall. Been around, he's 24 years old, but the rookie runs it for the Broncos. There's a lot to like about this young quarterback, Mike. I mean, he has that intriguing skill set that has the potential to develop into something pretty special over time. There's undoubtedly going to be some growing pains. That's expected. But I'm excited to see what he does with this opportunity now that his number's been called. The first-round pick looking right at home in this offense. It's a first down. He'll come up here first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Nick. He's got the tight end back, Greg Wilson. And he'll get about eight on that one, most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain, and in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. Should be enough. He works his way forward to pick up a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. On first down, right back to Williams. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. So, as they look at the injured player, we'll take a time. Denver first down. And he 
he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike Early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive. And as he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. A first down throw for Nix. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. And the Broncos are looking at a first and goal. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Now, this is how you dream up the opening script. You get the ball first, and you want to go down and set the tone for the rest of the game. Well, looks like the coaches did a great job when they built that script during the week. But that big-time throw, they got a shot now with first and goal to end this opening drive with a touchdown. games get off the bus get on the field get in the end zone the road team with the first six of this one and you can just see mike it takes a lot of the air out of the stadium and this crowd they're fired up started the game trying to make their presence felt and the opposing team goes all the way down for an opening drive touchdown that's an ideal way to start when you find yourself on the road The kick by Lutz is good. The Broncos will take a 7-0 lead. In his 12th year now in the NFL, came out to Seattle, backed up Russell Wilson the last three years. Greg, he has been the starter, and he runs this Seattle offense now. You just can't say enough about Geno and his turnaround over the last couple of years, Mike. I mean, many thought he was destined to just be a career backup and just play out the rest of his career. And when things didn't play out at first, instead of just listening to those doubters, he just kept working on his craft. And next thing you know, he gets an opportunity with a new team makes the most of it, and he's now solidified himself as a bona fide franchise quarterback in this league. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Here comes the third year man out of Michigan State, Kenneth Walker. Can he get away? No! He's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for us. And the ground is He's got the first down. Up to the 44. to high he's taken down behind the line and you could tell pretty quickly mike that once the quarterback started chopping his feet that there was nowhere for him to go great job by the defense not only reading quarterback run but getting him down behind the line a second down throw for smith they'll try to set up the screen here with walker
Here's a third down and four. From the gun, it's Gina. He gets back to his big target. A game there of 10 yards. It's good for a Seahawks first down. Smith in Jigba, the man in motion. And the defense snuffed that one out. It goes down as a completion, but no gain on the play. Well, you could tell that the defense had seen that play on game tape, and they were ready for it. They tried to do a little jet sweep, pop pass out of the gun. Defense was all over it. Nowhere to go, no gain. No go play action. It's Smith. Defensively stayed right with them and will bring up third down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. Even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way and setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. They go play action with Smith. Connected with the tight end. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the tank. That is a gain of 22. And it sets up first down and goal. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. This opening drive, it has been a work of art now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. Now some movement up front. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time here today. Now it is first and goal. Here's Walker. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And that'll set up second and goal. The offense is trying to test the edges of the perimeter of this defense, Mike, but the defense is just too quick to the ball. Total team defense, pursuit, 11 hats to the ball carrier. It's exactly what we saw here. Keep that game to nothing. Throwing on second down, Smith. He'll get this complete to Walker. Jason Myers on to attempt the extra point. He's got it. And the Seahawks come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. Seven, seven as they kick it off. On the return, here comes Marvin Mims. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Broncos offense ready to see the football for the second time. 
We're trying to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive. First and ten. To start this on the ground, it's Williams. It's a pickup of about three to the 28-yard line. and seven. Contact up front. And they get one of the defenders to jump. now. It's Knicks. He's going to tuck it and go. It'll be a run out of the gun with Williams. Some good blocking, springing up a gain of nine as we get to third down. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. They'll throw, it's next. That's into the hands of the receiver, Patrick. A pick up of 17. First down, Broncos. to a loss of yards. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. From the shotgun, here's Nix. He connects with Mims. And he'll be taken down, but good enough to keep this drive going. It's a first down. The linebacker Jerome Baker there to make the play. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Harris Evans on the scoreboard. Greg and I back in the Great Northwest in a moment. And six. Next from the gun on third down. And look middle, and he's got his man complete. First and ten.
Mims sent in motion here. Here comes the jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Here's a second and 12. Off the play fake, here's Nix. He's got to the tight end, Dulcich. He's taken down just shy of the 10. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Talk about a thing of beauty. Mike, did you see how many tight ends were on the field on that last play? They call it 13 personnel because there's one running back, three tight ends, one wide receiver. So everybody on defense is thinking run. They catch. Teamwork was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender, knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch, but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. Lutz for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Broncos will move out to a 14-7 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. On the return, it's Chennault. And he's down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop. We'll see how offense ready to take over for their second possession. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. On the ground, it's Walker to start the drive. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. 13 yards to start that drop. And a quick first down. The ability to be effective on first down, Mike, it just makes everything else easier. In the event you do have to face a third down down the road, they're usually a lot more manageable situations, a lot easier to convert. A first down throw to Smith. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up cut your losses now not only do you lose that down but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive work to do now as they come up on second and long The run up the middle, it's Walker. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Mike, I have to be honest. When offenses come up with run play designs, blocking the corner is not really a big priority. But in this case, great job. Not only forcing it on the outside, but defeating the block, coming up and making the tackle, and keeping it to no gain. Working out of the gun, Smith. He'll go right and find his running back. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Kicking time for the Seahawks. They'll punt this one away. The Broncos have Marvin Mims out for the return. A fair catch signal. And taken at about the 18-yard line. The Broncos offense and receiver Cortland Sutton ready to get going again. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. He'll get that to Javante Williams.
Hook him up on the second down and eight. Working out of the gun, it's Nix. Quick throw, taken in. He's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. They'll come up to third and three. Now Nix can look to throw. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And Nix with a wise move there at the end. Sliding to a stop, but he's got the first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. Not a whole lot happening there. Just a short pickup. Here's second and nine. They run over center with Williams. And he's going to be very close to a first down. That's a good run there. Maybe just a couple of feet short. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there... I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. He'll try to run for it with Williams. And he's got it. Good work there to take it to the 47 and set up first down. Seahawks offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. And they'll work this out to the 23. The linebacker Cody Barton in on the tackle. Two. On 
play action. Smith. And on third down, that ball incomplete. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the puck team coming out. Fair catch made here. The drive will start at the 23-yard line. Javante Williams heading out with the Broncos for their next drive. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Back to throw is Nick. He'll find his tight end, that's Trapman. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Two minutes to go here, till halftime. We're back to Seattle after this. Second and a yard. It's a gain of 10 yards. Good for a Denver first down. He'll drop to throw. This one caught by Patrick. And good yards there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. They'll look to throw again. And he's got it! And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone, out inside the 20. A big-time play for the Broncos. 32 yards. And it's the arm talent, Mike. It's on full display. His ability to step up in the pocket, get everything behind that ball, and throw a laser on a line accurately downfield. That's not a throw that all quarterbacks in the NFL are capable of making. And I think it was pretty good defense. Just turned out to be a better throw. This throw left side is complete. They'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Back to the air one more time. The throw here is complete. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Here's Lutz now for the extra point. He's got it. The Broncos will take a 21 to 7 lead. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. 
We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Seahawks offense can see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Smith and Jigba has it on that line. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. the huddle coming up now for first and ten from the shotgun it's Smith and good effort there defensively it's not the line and incomplete Jackson Smith and Jigba the intended receiver and it'll bring up second down this is teach tape for man defense Mike I mean he is not looking back at the quarterback at all he is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm. And then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball. And that's about as good as it gets. Here's a third and ten. From the shotgun, Smith. And that is incomplete. DK Metcalf was the intended target. And it's going to be fourth down. It's one of those balls where the quarterback wishes there was a string. The second it came out of his hand, he wished he could just pull it back because from the moment it left his hand, that looked like a sure interception. And the only reason it wasn't because the defender just flat out dropped it. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. So we reach halftime here, and the visiting Broncos are on top as we send you back east to sunny Florida. Standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report, it's the coach, Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. He was four Tar Heel, Javante Williams, with a solid first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Here comes D. Eskridge on the return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Seahawks offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They'll do so with first and ten. This drive starts on the ground with Walker. And let's give him about four on that one. Alex Singleton, they're on the tackle. Once again, it's Walker. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down.
Now the point after drop from Myers. The kick is good. And the Seahawks draw closer here. It's 21 to 14. TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The rookie, Bo Nix, and the Broncos offense getting set to take over once more. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. So they come to the line for a first down and 10. Mims set in motion here. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. Here's a second and three fourth come. Now they'll set up to throw. He connects with Mims. And they'll whistle him down, but not before it picks up the first down after a gain of seven. Now, you'll 
up to throw. This one to the tight end, Trotman. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. continues to play with the early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away and i'm thinking greg about the guys on the other side you're waiting at halftime that other offense waiting to get back on the field what happens they come right out extend the lead and now the task gets a lot tougher for the second half lutz for the extra point It's up and through. And the Broncos have doubled their advantage. It is now a 28 to 14 game. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, it's Chenault. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. There's DK Metcalf, he, and the Seahawks offense set for their next drop. Set to go now on first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Walker. And a short pick up to about the 30. Second down, Smith. Yeah. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his time. That's incomplete. He was seeking the veteran Tyler Lockett there, and it'll be third down. possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive but instead poor execution especially in the passing game and it's another wasted drive now fair catch is taken back inside the 40 the broncos offense about ready to take over once more and as we look back now greg at how we got here we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far in particular great passing yeah and if you want to score points in the nfl mike there's no secret you've got to do it primarily through the air and with three touchdowns here so far that's exactly what we've seen it's been deep balls it's been intermediate shots it's been good run after catch this has really been high level offense on display right from the jump and they'll get about four here as he is taken down Just two, 
And it's third down. Looking out of the gun. It's next. he gets inside the 35-yard line. Plenty of room after that catch. Big gainer of 23. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Knicks to throw. There's that man again, another catch. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Give him 10 more on that one. Just enough for another first down. On the carry, it's Williams. A gain of four as he's taken down. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return it's Chanel and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line out comes the Seattle offense as they get ready for their next possession the deficit is 17 so they got to start cutting into it soon see if it starts here first and 10 and they'll be set up now has the 40 with that one. They get 13 to begin the drive. It's a first down. Well, really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. Third and five. Smith. He gets that to his big target back. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Gene 
Gino to throw. This one complete to his tight end fan. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down, Walker. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. 17 yards on that play. It's good for a Seahawks first down. Well, here he is just taking over this drive from the running back spot. And frankly, Mike, any time the secondary and defensive backs are making a lot of tackles downfield, you know the offensive line's doing their job up front, and we can see the results. play action now. It's Gino. Get that one to Charbonnet. Complete. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 11. And they'll move the chains with another first down. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, he's going to go into the end zone, but he may have got a little help along the way. This one's coming back. They go play action with Smith. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's into the end zone. No offense. Touchdown, Seahawks. Myers now to add the PAT. He knocks it through. And the Seahawks are able to cut the deficit to 10. the TD. Myers comes on now to kick it away. Here's Smith to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. They'll come up here first and 10. We'll go play action with Hicks. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. side of the 50-yard line. A game there of 20. First down, Broncos. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. First 
down right back to Williams. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second down, it's Knicks. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. They nearly connected on the big play downfield, but he's not quite able to hold on to that ball through the contact. You can chalk that one up as a win defensively. On third down, they'll set up to throw. Quickly, they get it into the hands of Williams. And he looks to be a bit short of the line. And that is going to bring up fourth down. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, teams' willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. Nick's going to throw for it. He finds his man, Trotman. And he is going to have the Broncos first down. They wind up with a gain of 11 on fourth down. A little surprising here, Mike. They continue to throw the ball with this type of lead here in the fourth quarter. But with the day they've had and the upper hand they've had against this past defense, I don't know if I could really blame them. I mean, with the amount of man coverage that they're seeing right now, quarterback she's saying that's my best matchup who do I love to gain separation and just throw him the ball and for the most part of the game it's continued to work he's got a touchdown on the books from earlier and that catch gets him a first down these comebacks they require a lot of trust and timing from everybody involved if the quarterback's a little too early the receiver's not out of his break and if the quarterback's a little too late that's when disaster can strike. So give credit. Really well timed. Really nice job by both guys. Here's a chance to put this game away. First down and goal. Throwing is Knicks. That is caught by the tight end. Adam Troutman. Touchdown, Denver. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, they have such a knack. It's like they're on the same page. The quarterback almost feels like, well, when you were playing, you know where that guy's going to be in the end zone. Yeah, we used to have a saying, Mike. We say we don't run routes like they're lines on a piece of paper, and especially against zone coverage. Down here in the red zone, the rule is if you're open, stay open. Don't run past an open zone to get covered. That's exactly what this tight end does here. Friendly target, ball on time, touchdown. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, it's Chenault. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. And all he can do at this point, Mike, is just really marvel at how well he's been able to run the ball. And throughout the course of the game, they've certainly not been shy in giving it to him. And I think he's held up his side of the bargain. One to Metcalf. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Throwing on second down. Smith. He's going to air one out for Metcalf. Nothing scarier for a quarterback, Mike, than to seeing that ball popped up in the air. It, it feels like that ball is in the air for an eternity, and all you hope is that it just harmlessly falls to the ground and 
unfortunately for the offense, that's exactly what it did. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Ever so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, you're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. Some teams just have a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries, even on their side of the field, Mike, and we're seeing it so much more often. The days of just punting the ball back and forth and saying, hey, we're going to play good defense. Remember, the better your defense, that doesn't mean you should punt. The better your defense, the more chances you should take on offense. It'll be Smith and Jigbo bringing it in. And he will score. Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. Touchdown, Seattle. Now the point after drop from Myers. It's up and good. And the Seahawks are able to cut the deficit to 10. After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. Here's Smith to return it. First in ten. Mims set in motion here. They fake the jet sweep and will head it up the middle. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take him down for a loss. They'll go with Williams. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. This is taken at the 25. Oh, hello. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. Smith in Jigba, the man in motion. Smith now to throw on first down. Connected with the tight end. That's that. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. A second down throw for Smith. Smith and Jim from left side, he's got it. First and ten. Here's Smith. No time to set up the screen here with Walker. And 
And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. From the gun, it's Gina. Right sniffing jig by Heiser. Remember, he had the touchdown catch from last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. From the shotgun, it's Smith. a gain of 11 and they'll move the chains with another first down from the shotgun Smith that's complete to lock it outright Second and six coming up. Working out of the gun, Smith. Once again, right back to Lockett. And a whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Here's Gino. This is to the side of the end zone. No back. Touchdown, Seahawks. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Remember, all scoring plays are reviewed. Tight game, tight call. They're going to take a good long look at this one. The question, did he get his hands around the football in the end zone? If he did, it's a touchdown. This one's going to need very close scrutiny. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it. And it stays on the board. After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. On the return, here's Mims. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line.
try again here. Second and ten. They run over center with Williams. And they move this one down inside the 40-yard line. That one good for 13. Good for a Denver first down. This is the moment in the game, Mike, where it really matters to have a run game. You find yourself winning here late. You want to try to run the clock out and finish with the ball. And boy, do they ever give credit to this offensive line and running back. They came through and their team needed them the most. So it is a win for the visiting Broncos. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That was the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone. <laughs>